Welcome back to Season Liberally. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be making five mother sauces in five minutes. So what are the mother sauces? Bechamel, which is a cream sauce thickened with roux. Volute, which is a white stock, often chicken stock, thickened with roux. Espanol, which is a fortified brown stock and some other tomato product thickened with roux. Emulsification sauces, which sometimes are referred to as butter sauces, which is some kind of oil emulsified with another liquid. So hollandaise is an example of this, which is clarified butter emulsified with egg yolks. And finally, we have tomato sauce, which is tomato with flavorings thickened by reduction. Okay, so that's what they are. But what are they? Well, Mother sauces are the base sauces for French cuisine, and therefore European cuisine. With these five sauces and the principles behind them, you can make most sauces. The derivative sauces are called small sauces, and they are made when you have additives to your mother sauce. So let's get started with bechamel. This is a cream sauce, so you can either start by simmering your milk and adding your cold roux, or you can cook your roux in a pan and add your cold milk. The ratio here is one tablespoon of butter to one tablespoon of flour to one cup of milk. Traditionally, you would simmer a peeled onion with a bay leaf attached to it by a clove in milk until the milk thickened a bit and then you would pull that out and whisk in your roux. Now when you dissolve your roux in your milk, make sure to cook your sauce for about 10 minutes, stirring frequently. To this sauce, you can add Gruyere cheese to make a sauce mornay. You could add a few tablespoons of stone ground mustard for a mustard cream sauce or some horseradish for a wonderful horseradish sauce. Next up is the velouté, which is a very easy sauce to make, similar to the bechamel. It's just a roux with a white stock. One tablespoon to one tablespoon flour and butter to one cup of stock. Chicken or fish stock are the most common, but you could even use a white veal stock if you had one. The process on this is similar to the bechamel. Just stir in the stock into your hot roux and let it cook for a few minutes, stirring occasionally. Add heavy cream and a bit of lemon juice for a sauce supreme. Add sauteed mushrooms and shallots and a quick deglaze of white wine for a mushroom sauce or some parsley, white wine, and shallot, a little bit of lemon juice for a sauce per se. Espanol is the most involved. Start by sauteing some mirepoix until translucent, add some flour, and then add some quality brown stock. Mine was a little frozen, as you can see here. Let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Add some passata or tomato puree, a few sprigs of parsley and thyme, and let this simmer for another 20 to 30 minutes. Strain this through a fine strainer. Now, if you add half espanol and half brown stock, reduce it by half, and then saute in a separate pan some shallots until it's translucent, deglaze and reduce to dry with a bold red wine, and then add your reduced sauce, you have the king of all sauces, the demi glace. For a butter sauce, I'm making a burr blanc. Start by sauteing shallots, add some white wine vinegar and some white wine in equal parts, and then add in a few sticks of thyme here. Reduce this over low heat to a glaze, then whisk in noblets of butter, lots of butter, and do this off the heat. Now, you can put this back on the heat briefly, but be careful not to break it. Now, run it through a sieve and then serve it with a nice piece of fish, and you will thank me. Now, there are a ton of emulsion sauces, and I will do a whole video on hollandaise one day, I promise. This last sauce is the tomato sauce. For this one, take one medium diced onion, cook it in olive oil until it starts to brown. Once it starts getting color, add some grated carrot. Stir this for a moment, and then stir in your garlic. Cook this until fragrant, so about a minute, and then add a can of tomato puree and some chopped thyme. Cook this over low heat for 20 to 30 minutes until thick. You can add hot chili flakes or Aleppo pepper for an arrabbiata sauce or anchovy and capers for a puttanesca. Sometimes I cook this with crumbled Italian sausage for about 40 minutes for a quick ragu. All right, so that's five mother sauces in five minutes. I'm sure we're going to go over this much more in detail in the future. Hope you like this video. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, season liberally.